Hello ladies and gentlemen, the US National Spelling Bee Champion here. Today I'm going to be talking about Mo Vlogs. If you are fortunate enough to not know who he is, allow me to introduce you to the human equivalent of getting kicked in the balls. Mo Vlogs is a vlogging channel that currently has about 11 million subscribers. He also has eyebrows that rival mine for some reason, but that's not the point. Mo lives in Dubai and rose to fame showcasing multiple different supercars. He's widely known online as the stereotypical rich kid who brags about his luxurious lifestyle. While initially innocuous, his content later deteriorated over time by focusing on sexualizing his sister, clickbaiting, and showing off expensive items. This is the many problems with Mo Vlogs. Before I get into the video, please follow me on Instagram at Internet AJ to see cool life updates or pics with me and Mudahar. Thank you! Mo Vlogs' real name is Mohammed Bey Rogdri, and he created his channel on September 2nd, 2013 after previously trying a gaming one. It was originally centered on working out, but transitioned to luxury cars after only 5 videos. Ahem! <clears throat> and the realization that he didn't have a personality. Ahem! <clears throat> Mohammed's first car video was posted on December 24th, 2014 and was called My Sister's Lamborghini Huracan. He started it by saying he was going to get to the point and promptly showed the gorgeous vehicle. Hey guys, what is up? Mo here, and I'm gonna get straight into it because you guys came to watch this vlog for a reason. That's the title, so let me show you. This is the Lamborghini Huracan, the reason why all of you kicked on this video now. It looks amazing. This is my sister's new car. Mo then explained it was actually his sister's car and he couldn't rev the engine too long or it would bother the neighbors. Um, I'm gonna switch it on. I'm gonna show you that as well because it makes a massive noise, and obviously, as soon as we switch it on, we wanna go because we don't want to stick around in the area too much while it's on because apparently it's a nuisance to the neighbors, so yeah. It was evident in the early days, Muhammad didn't want to clickbait his audience, drag out the videos, and was mindful of other people. As time went on, Mo often showed other cars he found throughout Dubai. He also captured cool racing events or posted chill hangouts with his sister Lana. So I have a small confession to make. When I was little, I used to think actors actually died in real life when they recorded death scenes for shows. But that's not a confession relevant to this video. What is is that I used to watch Mo Vlogs back in 2014. I was drawn in like a moth to a flame and just couldn't resist the insane cars. Like many others, I also kept watching because I wanted to know more about Mo's family and wondered how they could afford their expensive lifestyle. However, Mo never really revealed much about them other than the fact his father wasn't in his life. It's pretty obvious to most people the situation that I'm in now. He's no longer part of our lives and it's been like that for, um, I'd say about six years guys, five, six years now. As I said, this is a topic I never really talk about. He hasn't really been part of our family for a good amount of time and the main reason I've never really talked about this before is this has just been something private in my family and I feel like everybody could already see that he wasn't part of our family, but it wasn't something that I really wanted to address at the time. After learning about the situation, I understood where he was coming from and respected his privacy. I also empathize with the fact that he didn't have a father figure in his life as my own dad passed away several years ago. Sadly though, over time I stopped watching Mo vlogs because his content degraded. His videos became incredibly drawn out and he clickbaited hard. For example, in February 2016, Mo posted a 20 minute video called I Won The Lottery. In it, he explained he won money from a scratch card a fan sent him but then discovered it was fake. <laughs> no, 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 Have we won? Yeah, this, yeah, I'm not yeah. playing with you guys, we've won. Have we won? I don't know, obviously. I swear yeah, we've won yeah, 50,000 yeah. pounds. I think, who sent this to you? This is stupid. Why? Look what I just read. JokeScratchCard.co.uk <gasps> Notably, he didn't show the ticket until the middle of the video in order to increase the watch time. Oddly, Lana asked if people commonly won lotteries which just demonstrated how distant she was from reality. But how often do people win these? Is this how really, many, is it really is popular? Me? Like, would you win it like that? No, you don't win this normally. Mohammed then kept baiting. He posted another video called I'm Broke which was personally infuriating to watch because he drove around in a Range Rover for half of it. Oh, and the reason for saying he was broke? Well, because the bank wasn't able to process a withdrawal. You guys are not even gonna believe what just happened to me and my mom was there for proof. I went to withdraw money from the bank and I, no, okay guys, I just wanna say there is money in my account, okay? It's not like there's no money, but it did not give me anything. Like, look at that, wait, focus. Unable to process, read this under my finger. Unable to process, please contact. Mo then uploaded a video called I'm getting a new car which showed a supercar in the thumbnail that was never featured once. At this point, he crossed the line and was flat out view farming. Unfortunately, the debauchery known as Mo Vlogs didn't stop there. His content became increasingly superficial and he made it seem like being rich was a personality type. Mohammed constantly bragged about his Rolex, Jordans, and new house. He rarely talked about himself or connected with viewers on a deeper level. Instead, he just relied on displaying fancier and fancier items to impress his audience. 
It didn't take long before Muhammad's content became straight up trash. I mean, he posted a 10 hour video counting 50 grand and bought a Rolls Royce using only $1 bills. Like why would you buy a car with only $1 bills? That's such a dick move. Mo even stated he knew the accountant was going to hate him and his sister for doing it. Imagine how much the accountant's gonna hate us. He was merely being an asshole for clout. One major problem with Mo Vlogs is that he is so wealthy and famous he's massively disconnected from the average person. For example, in October 2021, he released a video called Shark Prank on Sister. In it, he purchased a dead shark and proudly displayed its mangled body. All right guys, you're probably wondering how I'm gonna prank them with a shark. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I went and bought a shark. Obviously, it's not alive. <laughs> I hope it's not alive. Look at it. It's so freaky. He then shoveled past it like an NFL quarterback into the pool and claimed it was still alive. I have a surprise. Bro, what is that? It's a shark. Oh, <laughs> it's a shark. <laughs> Don't move. Don't move. <laughs> Shockingly, Mohammed repeated the stunt with the second dead shark despite his sister's pleas. Time to prank Lana with the second shark. Let's do it. Run now! Run I, got run me, I got another one! I got another shark! Take them away, bro! Stop it, it's gonna hit my face. What's wrong one. with you? No! No, no! I don't want to. This is Catch him, okay? Just come hold the shark. Put him down. His tail is moving in the no. water. Can you stop it, bro? It's just really disturbing me! Ah. Ah. Personally, I think it was really disgusting to waste the lives of two creatures for a dumb prank. I almost lost it when I saw one of the sharks lying at the bottom of the pool. Just when you thought he couldn't get any worse, Mo literally and figuratively did when he made a video called My Health Is Getting Worse. Surprisingly, the thumbnail showed him in a wheelchair which suggested he was very ill. It was later revealed, at the end by the way, that he wasn't dying but rather had a shoulder injury. Hopefully this isn't gonna take much more than a few sessions to fix guys, but after that, I have... Okay, yeah, yeah, continue, go continue. On, on, oh, so that I have to, to, to sit properly. That's yeah. it. <laughs> his friend then pushed him around in a wheelchair for shits and giggles. You can clearly see he changed his facial expression from tired to alert when he realized he was about to get flung out of the chair and actually get hurt. You can just tell he's thinking about the millions of dollars he's worth at this exact moment. Beyond clickbait and low-tier content, the other issue with Mo Vlogs is that he constantly sexualizes his own sister. His thumbnails frequently displayed her, um, let's just say jabangos. In one upload called My Sister vs. Belly Dancer Surprise, he randomly forced Lana and his own mother to put on a belly dancing outfit and perform. Thankfully, he told his mom to keep her clothes on but didn't extend the same courtesy to his sister. No, that wouldn't get enough views, so we had Lana gyrate with her knockers flailing around like a pair of wacky waving inflatable arm flailing tube men. It was fucking weird. In another video, Mo drenched his sister with ice water then screamed, that's what's up. <laughs> you own my earphones! <laughs> Where's the other Good one? morning! You just ruined my That's what's ear. up! And my phone, bro! Yeah! You know, like any other normal loving brother. Mo then shattered most common social norms when he put a liquid repellent spray on Lana's shirt and had her pour coke on it. But did Muhammad choose the back or bottom of it? No, no, no. He had Lana drench her tits directly like it was a wet t-shirt contest in the deep south. In an upload of a party they were at, Mo even randomly zoomed in on her tits. Like it served absolutely zero purpose. It's obvious he sexualizes his sister for views and it's very disturbing. He's literally one step away from being the photographer for her OnlyFans account. The most interesting part about it all is that Mo has a girlfriend named Noreen who has a beauty channel with about 12 million subscribers. What's wild is Mo sometimes featured the two in suggestive positions. One time they did a yoga scene together that I truly believe was straight from the Kama Sutra. <laughs> In another instance, Muhammad had the two awkwardly dance. Overall, the family picture is incredibly odd and confusing. Mo Vlogs is simply based on superficiality. His collabs were mostly with other rich people who just wanted to use his platform to grow their own brand. For example, his video with David Dobrik only occurred because David was stranded and needed a car. So of course, Mo let him drive his sister's Lamborghini. So guys, basically, I came to give him a ride. And I get to keep it. That's all yours. By the way, it's my sister's car. So just please don't crash. Don't you guys have like 18 cars? Oh, seven, eight. Mohammed doesn't seem to have any genuine relationships outside of his family and sister. 
And well, that brings me to my next point. Mo actually made a video titled where I'm from and of course didn't reveal where he was from. However, astute viewers noticed his mother often spoke Persian in his videos and that his last name was of Persian origin. This led some people to suspect he is ethnically Iranian but grew up in Dubai. Personally, I don't think someone's nationality needs to be a national secret. It's like if Nigahiga refused to admit he was Asian. It just wouldn't make any sense. I think Muhammad is concealing his Iranian background because he wants to appear like a rich Arab royal. I imagine he thinks it gives him more credibility. However, I don't know for sure and I'm just speculating. Ultimately, there's definitely some concerning aspects with Mo vlogs. His content focuses on sexualizing his sister, extreme clickbaiting, and superficial luxury items. I'm glad it all led to Mo's astronomical success, but I think he can definitely benefit from having a more genuine connection with viewers. It would make everything less superficial. In order to do this, he needs to stop using titles like Exclusive Dubai Lifestyle Billionaire Boys. Instead, I would encourage Muhammad to incorporate more of his personality into his vlogs. For example, he could talk about how he started a YouTube channel or why he likes supercars. I'm shocked that out of Mo's roughly 2,000 videos, he only has a handful where he opens up about his life story without clickbaiting. He has a large audience and I'm sure people want to know more about Mo as a person. He's still playing a character which doesn't get people to watch you for you. In addition, I also recommend he tones down the sexualization of his sister because it's just plain weird. I also get the impression he is genuinely happy with his girlfriend and recommend that he features her more often without making it seem like they broke up or he left her. Hare Krishna, those red eyes in the thumbnail are photoshopped worse than mine are. By doing so, Mo would show another side of him which could be beneficial. Of course, these are just my suggestions and thoughts. If you have any of your own, please let me know in the comments. Hopefully Mo takes a critical look at his channel and makes some positive changes, but only time will tell. Oh, and feel free to follow me on Instagram at internetajay and don't be afraid to send me a DM. I'll reply if I can. See you in the next one.